From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. This episode is brought to you by the audiobook Theodore the Great, Conservative Crusader by Daniel Ruddy, narrated by Darren Marlar. Hear a free sample on the audiobooks page at MarlarHouse.com. Back in 2004, Mary Grahams was pulling weeds on her family farm in Alberta, Canada, and somehow lost her engagement ring in the process. All these years later, the ring has turned up, incredibly, with a carrot growing through the middle of it. It seems her daughter-in-law plucked the lucky carrot from the ground and her son immediately recognized it as his mom's lost ring. 84-year-old Mary said, I'm going to wear it because it still fits. Sadly, her husband died five years ago. He gave her the ring in 1951. Amazing. The woman loses her diamond ring when it's found 13 years later and has another carrot added to it. Selena Gomez recently tweeted that she can hardly wait for people to forget about me. Well, uh, one idea might be to stop tweeting that you hope people forget about you. That just reminds them that you're there. A brawl broke out at a Dayton, Ohio funeral home during the viewing. According to a police report, a woman arrived at the viewing claiming to be the current girlfriend of the deceased man. However, the wife asked the woman to be removed from the viewing. An altercation ensued between the two women. A family member attending the viewing pepper-sprayed the women, and the fight broke up. It was so unexpected and exciting that the grandkids in the back row stood up and started yelling, ENCORE! A company claims it's selling a drone that can walk dogs. If you're to that point, perhaps it's best you just not get a dog. There's quite a bizarre mystery going on at the Avon Lake, Ohio Public Library. The staff have been scratching their heads trying to figure out who has scattered 30 empty A1 steak sauce bottles around the place over the past two months, with no clues offered from surveillance tapes. Most of the bottles have turned up in the adult fiction and nonfiction sections. The library is stumped. They've pretty much ruled out prankster kids as the bottles appear to be left during school hours. A library manager wonders if this is some kind of fourth-dimensional chess match, asking, is it a game that we don't know how to play? I think you're half right. You don't know how to play it. And you are the pawns. Hillary Clinton is set to release her book What Happened next month that explains her loss in the 2016 election. Uh, it's said to be a quick read, with just one page saying, I was a terrible candidate. Police are investigating after a woman assaulted her mother with a cheeseburger at a McDonald's. Indianapolis Metropolitan Police were called after the two women got in a fight because the mom told her daughter she could no longer stay at her home. Reportedly, the mom drove her daughter to someone else's house, but on the way, the daughter changed her mind about where she wanted to go. The 60-year-old mother told officers her daughter, 39, started yelling at her, so she stopped at McDonald's. According to the police report, the victim stated her daughter yelled, B-word, I ought to kill you, and hit her in the left side of her face with her hand and the cheeseburger. The mom told police she had pain on the left side of her face, which was red and swollen. The daughter got into another driver's vehicle and fled the scene. Great idea, daughter. These kinds of actions are exactly what a mom wants to see, so she'll invite you to stay at her house after all. Well played! Airbnb is reportedly permanently banning white supremacists from making reservations on the site. Uh, how do they plan on doing that? How do you know if somebody's a white supremacist just by their name? I mean, unless their name is Whitey McBlackhater, how do you know? Fair warning, ladies in the Los Angeles area, don't date Paul Gonzalez. Seems the 44-year-old meets women online and invites them out to dinner. Nothing wrong with that. But then, after the big meal has been consumed, Paul suddenly vanishes. One of his victims described how he had eaten $100 worth of food at a restaurant, explaining he had to order two entrees because he's a bodybuilder, before saying he was going to the bathroom. She never saw him again. Meanwhile, a woman identified as only Beth says she met Dave Gonzalez on Bumble before agreeing to dinner at a restaurant. Gonzalez ordered a glass of Pinot, a Caesar salad with a side of shrimp, a steak, and a baked potato, and ate most of the meal before excusing himself to take a phone call. He never returned. A text went unanswered, and his Bumble profile was later removed. 
According to police, Gonzalez has also walked out of a salon, still clad in a smock, without paying for a haircut in color. If I were the police, once I arrest the guy, I'd make sure to have someone watching at all times when he asks for a little privacy to make his one phone call to a lawyer. Florida man who accidentally fired a gun in a strip club restroom while trying to take a selfie has been sent to prison. Somebody obviously does not understand how selfies work. A California man was arrested for posing as a dentist while cooking meth in his office. The red flag for police was when the man's patients kept coming out with worse teeth than when they went in, yet kept coming back for more. Taco Bell has announced that it will soon launch the Naked Egg Taco, a breakfast taco that uses a fried egg as its shell. I'm not yoking. If you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social media to help get the word out. If you'd like to become an official weirdo, simply click that subscribe button and notification bell. And while you're at it, click that like button to let the world know that you're a weirdo.